ladies. How are you guys? How is everyone? Hello, hello. How are you guys today? What's going on with everyone? Hey, hi, Kimmy. Hi, Bet. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Susan. Hi, Eva. And if I missed more of you, it's because the chat scrolled up. How is everybody? How are you all? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Renee. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Sarita. Hi. Howdy, Brenda. Hi, Nalisha. So how are you guys? How are you ladies in Texas? I was worried. I'm, I was, I'm still a little worried for you guys. Nothing, nothing about your storm yet. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joy. Welcome, Joy. Okay, can you guys hear me better this week? I think I fixed my sound, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Hi, Arlene. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Kathy. Susan says the storm is hitting land now. Oh my gosh, everybody. Let's send everyone in Texas and on the Gulf Coast of the U.S. love. What is the name of this hurricane, Susan? I made the circles on my paper, Eva, with Q-tips. Just plain L circles and Q-tips. Hi, Alta. Harvey. It's Hurricane Harvey. Okay, so we're just going to send Hurricane Harvey love. Hi, Fiona. How are you? So I know I told you guys we were going to work on altered books, but instead I, f I picked an easier project. It's just, I've had a day already. I've had a day. Hi, free to be me. Tell us what your first name is. Welcome, welcome. Now you lurkers out there, say hi. So let me show you what... <laughs> Brenda says it's Hurricane Susan because it's going to go shopping for craft supplies. Oh, you're so funny. So this is what I thought we'd work on today. Let me just show you. And it's not difficult. It's a super easy, kind of fun thing to do. And you can make it with book pages. So if you got a book to alter, you can make it with scrapbook paper. Hi, Lisa. Jesse. Free to be me. His name is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. We're happy you're here. Okay, so we're going to make this little accordion book. Okay, it's just like a little accordion um, you could put it in your journals or you could do, you could do just about anything with it. I mean, and we're going to make little paper clip embellishments for it, but I'll show you. It's like so super simple and I made it out of book pages. So, and you could make this as big or as small as you want. Okay. Hi, Sherry. So this is what we're going to make today. Does this look like a winner to you guys? And I hadn't, I haven't quite finished it. It looks like this on one side. Hey, Lisa. And it looks like this on the other side. And we can put, this is just made from book pages. Hi, Bridgeline. Hi, Chris. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Ash. We're so happy you guys are all here. Okay, now you don't have to make your circle painty papers. You can make yours any way you want. Hi, Joyce. But this is like so soon. So easy. Now, if you if you can imagine if you made it bigger, I mean, look at the, let me see if I can show you something. Okay, so here's a glue stick. So this is how small this is. I don't have a ruler or I'd tell you exactly the size. I'm guessing it's like four inches. Here, wait, I have a, I have one of our power pack cards here, which is two by three. So it's about four inches tall by... I don't have an I don't have a ruler, you guys. Four four inches tall by uh, I don't know thirteen inches long. I'm guessing I don't know. Let's see. This is like three inches. So three six nine. 
about 13 inches long. But you can make it any size you want. You don't have to do your small just because I did mine small. Hi, Edna. What are you asking me, Edna? 212 scored? Question mark. I don't know what that means. Oh, this it's about 4 inches tall by about 13 inches long. But let me just show you guys. We'll, we'll start and I'll show you how to, um, hi Mildred, I'll show you guys how to start, hi Carla, I've been thinking about you guys in Texas too, an AC, an ATC is two and a half by three and a half, this is just two book pages and I don't have a ruler, you guys, I didn't bring a ruler over here, you know me, I don't like to measure, so what you need to do if you want to make a long, tell me how your week's going girls, what you want to do, what you need to do if you want to make a long is you need two book pages. And I'll show you what I used. I need some packaging, some book pages. So we were going to originally alter some books, but I think this is faster and easier. I know prayers for all of you guys in Texas and all of you guys on the Gulf Coast. So here are the two book pages that I started out with. Hi Lily, how are you? All you lurkers out there, say hey. Okay, so to start with, and happy Friday, Aloha Friday everyone. So to start with, what you need is two book pages, okay? And it doesn't matter what size your book pages are, you can make this work with anything. If you have file folders, you can make it with file folders. If you wanted to make it with scrapbook paper, you can make it with scrapbook paper. It'll all work out because you don't measure anything. You just make it work with what you have. So the first thing you want to do is glue your two book pages together. Hi Jennifer! Happy Friday to you too. Hi Sherry! So, so what we're going to do is just get two book pages. I promise we'll do an altered book next week. You guys, this week was just too hard for me. I'm sorry. I have, you guys, I have like five or six altered books in process. So you want to glue, you just want to glue a little overlap because you're just trying to make it one long piece of paper so that you have something to have an accordion fold with. And it doesn't matter. You could use sheet music. You could use junk mail. You could use, you could use any of it, okay? It does not matter. It is not, it's not a mandatory anything. All right. So I don't want you guys to like go, I don't have that size of book pages. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Ann. So glue your two book pages together. What's going on for the week, girls? And if you guys don't want to make along, just jump in and make whatever you want to make. We're just here. Hi, Miss Malone. How are you? So now this is the second part. We have our two book pages um, glued together. Okay? Now the next thing is going to be is to paint. Is to paint. Or cover it with painty papers. Now... I'm going to leave my rough end. I don't mind because I'm going to fold it up. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. So tell me about you guys. What's going on for your week? I want to hear about everybody's week. Because I've got all my, i got loads of like ridiculousness going on in this little tiny table. Has everybody had a good week so far? I hope so. Hi, Sally Ann. How are you? You'll take notes, Ann. Oh, you're so funny. Why are you almost falling against gravity, Lily? Ann, how's your wrist? You know, that was horrible. I hope you're okay. I hope you're feeling... I mean, I, I haven't broken my wrist, knock on wood, but I've broken my toes and stuff and that's not so good okay so you want to glue your two pieces of uh, book or whatever you're going to use if you're going to use a file folder great if you're going to use 
you know, it doesn't really matter what you use. Hi, Glory. You're trying to get your house together? Oh, feel better, Ann. We're like, we've all been sending you lots of love and light for like falling on the ground. That's like, you know, you're starting to sound like me, sister. And for those that are new to us, I'm a huge recycler. So I use, but you can do anything that I'm doing with used book pages with scrapbook paper. So I am going to, I'm using the cheapest 57 cents a bottle. Um, hi, Samara. Hi, Samantha. Calamari, Mildred. Calamari. So you can use any type of paint. I use the cheapest craft paint, okay, and a credit card. S Susan, was it you that said, ask one day, made the comment that you didn't think I had any um, paintbrushes because I use a credit card? I don't know why. I, I like painting with a credit card. I don't know why. And I'm going to use my newsprint as my painting paper. What have... Oh my gosh, Brenda, that sounds horrible. Brenda's having some computer problems in this having fights with Dell. That's not good. You know, I wish I could say that I have not, uh, that I have never had any. Hi, Amanda. I wish I could say I've never had computer problems, but you guys know that I always do. So you just want to paint, you got to paint both sides of your paper. How many of, how many of you guys are making along with me? How many of you get ladies? Hello, ladies. How many of you ladies are, are, are Painting along with me. Yeah, I agree, Edna. I like painting with a credit card, too, or a gift card. My favorite gift card as of late are Starbucks cards. Because, like, okay, like, this is one that came in a piece of mail. Like, somebody's Rolodex card. Can you guys tell I use it all the time for glue and everything else, right? You're, you're making with me, Samantha? Awesome. But, like, this Home Depot one, it has seen better days, Okay. But this Starbucks one, I've just used it to spread glue. It's a newer one. I told you guys that my daughter, they at her work, they gave they give them like uh, some sort of rewards, five dollars or twenty dollars or whatever every week. Whenever they do something, they give them these rewards cards. She doesn't drink Starbucks, but I do, so she gave it to me. You're making something else. Craft on, Eva. Craft on. You're just watching, Chris? Hey, join us. You can do whatever you want. Hi, Shelly2004. Hi, Trish. Okay, so if you're making a long, paint your papers. you got to paint them both front and back. What's kind of cool about this, though, I am going to tell you, is that this is great for your journal inserts. Or if you guys make these as, like, gift card holders. Remember, you guys know my tangent and my rant about um, spending money on cards once you've bought the gift card so you can make these make really cool gift card holders too you don't have to do it with as many folds as mine has but it, it makes something it, it's really cool you're working on your Halloween journal Carla oh awesome good for you good for you These are kind of, this particular book, the pages were really nice. If you want a thicker book, you might want to add some painty papers or glue something on top. Okay? But it's a fun, it's a fun little project to make, you guys. It's like, it's fun, and it's like one of those things where if you wanted to give somebody a really quick little birthday card or a quick little, you know, meaningful... What a meaningful present you can. This is like super fast and easy to make. You do want to let it dry. So for those of you who need to let your painting paper dry, let it dry. One good thing about painting with a credit card is that it is um, is that it it spreads really thin. I may need to get my heat gun out there to to dry my paint. Get my manly heat gun. What time is it here where I am? I'm in Hawaii. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Mildred, this is called a, I don't know, an accordion something. I don't know. I used to, when I make junk journals, do you guys have to have a formula for everything? I don't. I kind of, you guys tell me. I'm like so random, right? So what happens is, is I start, I made some of these a while back. I found one. I made some of these a while back to give to my kid. One of my kids is, an, anyway, I made her a bunch of stuff like this. Hers was a little bigger than this, but I guess you could call it an accordion tag book or an accordion tag card. Look, you don't have to put tags inside of it. You could put other things. <laughs> You're asking me to tell you what to do with that flat Fabio paint. Um, I use the, did you get it as the, you mean you got the magicals in the flat Fabio color? Is that what you're saying? Oh, thanks, Jesse. You're so sweet. Um, use, magicals are great. So their magicals are made by, um, oh my gosh, you guys, what is the brand? Oh my gosh, why can't I think of the brand? I'm, I'm obsessed with those magicals. Anyway, they, you can put little notes in here too. Yes, Carrie, this is perfect for your mother, for your, um, ooh, you're using shaving cream dyed papers? Oh, Sherry, I love making shaving cream, um, marble papers. So, you use Magicals the same way you would, would anything. The cool thing about Magicals is that they, Lindy's, Lindy's Stamp Gang. I guess I'm having a brain moment. So the cool thing about magicals are you could use them to paint and then they, they, they're water soluble, but then they don't react again. So you can paint layers with them. So you paint them what they're like watercolors, but really strong pigment. And then you can, and then you can, you know, paint over it and they don't reactivate. So I don't know. I like them. The flat one, the flat Fabio. Oh no, Lily, your power outage. Ooh. I'm sorry. Well, you know, Lily, some of them are having a hurricane. So in India, I, is the weather bad or is it just like one of those things? So the flat Fabio, the only difference between like the Starburst sprays and the, and the Starburst Magicals and the other ones is that they don't, is they have a mica to it. So they're shiny. The flat Fabio are just black color. So you can use them any way you'd want to use a paint. So anyway, this is what we're making. So I don't know what you want to call it, Mildred. You can call it anything you want. You can call it an accordion tag book if you want. You can put little notes in here. You can make it wide enough to put gift cards in. You could, you can also put, make pockets on the other side. I didn't on this one, but you could. You know, you could make pockets on the other side too. So, and you could do it, I guess you could do it opposite ways. I didn't think about it when I was making it, but Anyway, we'll make one and, you know, I, I make stuff like this to put in my journals. Do you guys, like, add, like, little bits and pieces to your journals? Hi, Lana. It's really fast. It's a fast project. Okay, so you've glued your two book pages or you have your, um, or your scrap of paper. You just want a longer piece than normal. And you doesn't, there's no rhyme or reason. It doesn't have to be as long as mine. Okay? I'm going to paint both sides of your paper if you want. Look, you don't have to paint any of it, but I don't necessarily want the book pages, the book page, uh, the book page writing. I mean, you can see it underneath it. I just don't necessarily want it. Okay, you lurkers, say hi. We're happy you joined us. We are happy you have joined us. So tell me how your day is, girls. What did you guys do today? Today's, a, we call it Aloha Friday. You know, even though our weekends are not necessarily the same as everyone else's here, especially if you live in a touristy area, and all of Hawaii is touristy. But, you know, if you work a job that is tourist-driven or tourist-based, right? But I was so glad for it to be Friday today. I was so glad. Add it to your journal. Add it to your journal. You can totally add it to your journal. Also, if you guys make flip books, this is kind of like a flip book. I guess you could use this as a version of a flip book. You could make it, you could make this a journal if you made it really big. Remember I showed you guys in our Facebook group that big brown one that I made that was made out of a brown grocery bag? That, it's similar to this. 
it is similar. Okay. And I'm just painting with a credit card because I can get it really super thin and there's no brush strokes and, and it doesn't matter if it's perfect because I'm going to cover up some of it. Some of it I'm going to do my crazy painted paper stuff on. You know, my, my circles and then, or I don't have to do circles, I could do anything. And then some of them, I, I'm thinking of, um, what I did on the inside of this one is I did some stamped tissue paper. Do any of you, or to any of you? You could, does anybody have their napkins? You could do paper napkin decoupage too. You're having monsoons. Oh no. Happy Aloha Friday to you, Kayala. Hi, Liz. I'm so glad it's Friday. You guys have no idea. I'm like, I was ready this morning. Uh, yesterday, I was ready for it to be Friday. Okay. I was ready yesterday for it to be Friday. You know, I'm always messy. I can't, you know what? I told you guys I'm not a neat crafter and I don't mind getting it on my hands. I don't mind getting it on my hands or whatever. Yes, we are sending you girls some loving thoughts in Texas. You know, where Bet and Susan live is where I'm from. And we were talking about it earlier today when I, I talked with them earlier today. We were talking about how, you know, we sort of take it for granted, hurricanes and stuff like that. It doesn't mean that you like it, but it's just like, you know, there's lots of, of that type of action that happens. So, and then people that do ridiculous things like, scalp you scalp you for water right okay so let your paper dry that's the one thing is you got to let it dry just let it dry for a few minutes make it my heat then out it is a fast project and this is also a project that you can hi mary this is a project you can do with kids guys i have like my ridiculous big heat gun going on here i have my i have my handy dandy big heat gun my manly heat gun My manly heat gun is in the house. Hi, Dawn. So happy to see you. How are you? Lily, we know that you're with us in spirit. If you gotta go, you gotta go. What time is it in India, Lily? Is it, isn't it, is it some crazy time? I know it's really a crazy time for Sarita and Marcy. It's like three o'clock in the morning. I haven't tried to roast a marshmallow with this gun, Jesse, but you certainly could because it goes up to 1100 degrees. Hi, Carla. I'm good, Dawn. I am good. Lily, how's your puppy? We Everybody wants to know how your puppy is. Hi, Amberly. Hi, Nikki. Nikki, you're having a hurricane party? Oh, wow. You guys, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon here, and it's nice and sunny. I can't complain about anything here. Carla, I missed your video on Tuesday. I was working on Tuesday. I wasn't home. I missed your live stream on Tuesday. And then I got on the computer today and saw you live stream today. So I missed it Tuesday and today. So, you know, I'm just not up on my, I guess I didn't get a notification, but I might have not been around either. So I'm just drying my pages, you guys. I'm just drying my... And this time, this paint that I'm using, usually I use the matte paint, but I bought some satin paint by, by accident, but I'm liking it, it's fine. You made seven loaves of zucchini bread, Chris? That's awesome. I hope the hurricane doesn't hit. 
Oh, Carla, don't even try to watch my nonsense. Who knows what I'm doing? But I was like, I usually, if I'm home, I love to like, I was home. I think I was doing, I don't know, I was doing like house stuff. I wasn't paying attention. And I should have known you were going to stream because um, Barb is away, right? Barb's still away. Okay, here's the technical part about the book, you guys, or the card, or whatever you want to call it. Is you want to go ahead and bend it up as much as, as deep as you want your pocket. Okay, so I think mine, bending mine up about, I don't know, an inch and a half. And I'm bending up the side that's like, um... That's the ruffly side of the paper, okay? Yeah, Barb's on vacation. Good for Barb, man. Hey, Linda. Okay, so this is what we have so far, all right? Now, I'm going to show you guys. Now, Now's when you want to decide what you want to do on the inside. What I did on the inside of this one, which I used some stamped tissue paper. You know, I told you guys I'm trying to use up all of my stash, you know, like all the stuff that I have. So I used stamped tissue paper on the top, and I think I have another piece of it. I think I brought it over here. So what I do is when I get... You're getting ready to see Pocket Man. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Pocket Man was just... Pocket Man. Oh, Lord. Carla, if you're watching Pocket Man, Pocket Man, I don't even remember what we arted in Pocket Man, but Pocket Man is just a laughing festival. Okay, it was ridiculous. Okay, so this is just, I get, whenever somebody gives me a gift, I save the tissue paper. And I used to, <laughs> Susan's telling you to go to the bathroom for us first. <laughs> Oh, Lord, Jesse, Pocket Man was just, uh, I need to give my heat gun a name. Okay. <laughs> painty papers. Oh, I was making painty papers during Pocket Man. Oh, my God. You guys. So I used to, <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. That, I, you know, I laughed so hard in that video that I had a side ache. The, pro the problem is this, is that. Your mit the pe what everybody's saying in the comments is like so hilarious and it just keeps setting you off. So I used to iron my tissue paper. I don't iron it anymore. This is tissue paper. This is book pages that I glue glued two book pages together and I folded it up. And this is just tissue paper, like the cheapest tissue paper. And you guys, the holidays are coming up, so you know, save your tissue paper. You can save your colored tissue paper too. This is just tissue paper. And then it's stamped with stays on ink and a Stampin' Up stamp. Okay. Oh, you didn't start anything, Carla. It, that it, Pocket Man. It was a good day. It was. It. It was. I don't know if I was. It was funny. And wait till you listen to it. You guys will think I'm crazy and nutty, but it's okay. So, if you're gonna do your tissue paper, this is my. I'll give you my four one one. I'm not using Mod Podge. I'm using glue stick. Okay, I am using glue stick. Okay, and Amberly, I'm making it a little accordion book. You didn't start anything, Carla. It is just, it's just Pocket Man. Pocket Man. Pocket Man was such a funny, that was just a funny day. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue in my tissue paper. Now, I'm not going to glue my tissue paper to the end. I'm only going to glue it because it's going to be on the inside of my book. I'm only going to glue it to the fold. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to run my glue stick, and I'm using Elmer's Extreme Glue. I like to use a permanent glue. You probably could use a water-soluble glue for this as well. Use whatever you have. I'm not using Mod Podge. I'm just using a glue stick. Okay, and... I usually, I cleaned out, you guys, this is what happens is I clean, my space is so small, I clean it off, and then I don't have my glue book under it, my, 
Julia Roberts is going to be our it's going to be our glue girl today. Um, I don't have my stuff in anything, so I just am going to use glue stick, and I'm only going to put the glue to the fold, down to the fold, and I'm just going to glue all the way up because I'm going to glue my tissue paper down. Now, if you guys have napkins, if if some of you guys have some like paper napkins from a paper napkin decoupage. You can use that and stamp on that. That's a, this is a good project to use that up in. Or, you know, the white sheets, because you get, they're usually three ply, so you usually get a colored one, and then when you pull it apart, you have two pieces of white, right? And then you stamp on those. Or tissue paper. Or you can don't even have to do this step if you don't want to. But this is me, because I've decided I'm going to use my trying to use up my stash okay and so then I'm gonna lay my tissue paper I'm gonna lay it down to the fold and then I'm gonna use my credit card again you guys and I'm going to I'm gonna use my credit card and I'm going to smooth it out okay so doesn't have to be perfect you guys it's the inside of your your book the one thing you do want to do is when you start to smooth it out you want to smooth it out from the center out okay so like you want to go the center up and then the center out and I don't really mind if it has wrinkles if you are really particular then you might want to take a little bit more time than I am okay you might want to take a lot more time than I am if you're particular I'm not that particular and the reason I'm just smoothing it out is I'm just trying to get the bubbles out Julia can go away because she's got glue on her Julia you're gonna have to go down here um, I just want to get the bubbles out and I want to make sure that it's and I don't have to get all the bubbles out but I just want to make sure it's stuck down right because it's the inside of my book now you could do this with Mod Podge, but it takes a lot longer to dry because I don't find it necessary. Unless you want that Mod Podge Collage Podge or Elmer's Glue, you know how it gives it that finish? Unless you wanted that. You know what I'm talking about, right? So this is what it looks like now. And now I've just got to cut away. I've got to cut my... Just got to cut away the, the extra parts. So, guys, for whatever reason, I cannot, it just freezes. I don't know why. It's like in the spiral of death now. It is in the spiral of death. It's crazy. It is in a refresh. It's in the spiral of death. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut. That napkins would be awesome, Carrie, if you have them. But, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm trying to clean out my stash. I'm trying to use up my stash. So I have all this tissue paper, and I've stamped on a lot of it, and I've put it away. Was it you, Dawn, that says that you like to make things... See, I like to have components of my projects already done. So when I was cleaning out my stash, so I'm doing my own version of calamari, when I was cleaning out my stash, I was going through and I was, you know, letting go of stuff and putting stuff away and doing all that. And so I was, hi Mary Lou, welcome, we're happy to have you. Are you lurkers? Say hi. We love it when you say hi. So, anyway, this is the inside. So now you can see it, okay? This is the inside. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over, and this is going to be my outside, so I'm going to start painting it. And I think I'm going to do my, you guys see how obsessed I am with my Q-tip circles. I'm going to paint my Q-tip circles, okay? So I'm going to paint my outside. My outside's going to look like this. 
and I just got to get some paint and I got some q-tips already so just got to get my paint and I got paint and I got q-tips and I'm going for it I'm gonna do my paint my q-tip circles now you guys this is also a great way like if you guys saved your other book pages or you have um, if you have language book pages and um, You know foreign language book pages or if you have um, any sort of any sort of thing like that or you have or you have um, your painty papers or you could also use your magazine images if say you wanted to do one with all fashion girls this would be a great fun little little accordion book if you put all your fashion girls or whatever you'd like you know it depends upon what you're into collecting and what you like and what you see there's no right or wrong make it your way your way is what counts hi vicky vicky did you get your horse has your horse come in yet i laughed so hard about your horse I laughed so hard about your horse. It was ridiculous. Yes, everyone, Carla is going to start streaming on Sundays at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Because for all you football widows, for all you widows of football, she is like, Carla, you're not anti-football. You just don't want to watch football, right? I don't watch football either. I'm not a footballer. Patty likes football. All right, you guys, here, this is my very exciting circle painting technique. Ready? <laughs> you guys know I don't have a circle painting technique. I just do it. I'm painting. You could use paintbrushes, you guys. I just like to use Q-tips because I don't know. I just do. You could use paintbrush. You could use, you could use a bunch of stuff. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. You can pick your own. You can pick your own. You can pick whatever you want. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing. Yummy, yeah, I, mean, I gotta have my gotta have my fix a painting circle. <laughs> my Q tips remind you of something you see in a dentist office. Oh no. No, I don't know why Q tips, but I just do like them, okay? I don't know why. There's no reason. You could use paintbrushes. Use what you have. This is not about, for me, it's not about um, going to get something you don't have. My, my whole theory is it's all about using what you have. And, and I'm definitely not a perfectionist, so at least painting this. Maybe I would be a perfectionist if I was painting something different, but I'm not a pain not a perfectionist painting this. This Q tip has dried out, so you gotta that's the only thing is you gotta you can't you only usually get like one good Q tip use out of it as far as for painty papers. You guys see my ridiculous process? Hi, Linda. So tell me what you guys have planned for the weekend. Besides, I know all the ladies in Texas are just hoping that the storm just passes them by, and that they don't have to that they don't have any big yard cleanups and there's no flooding, which I hope that too. Um, but for those of you that are not in a storm area, what are your plans? What are your weekend plans? I'm on. I'm on. I'm here, Renee. I did not lose you. You guys, is the is the um is the volume better? I went through. Evidently, because I, I um,
you know, did my systems upgrade? I guess it factory sets it back to like a, a lower volume, internal computer volume. But when I checked all the settings, it was right. I had to go deep into the computer to like look at it and finally figured it out. So I was like, I can't, I don't know. I didn't change it on purpose. Like I didn't do anything. So... Yeah, if you guys want to, um, you're going to a gospel show, good for you. That sounds like fun. If you guys want to ask me anything specific or you want me to answer uh, something just to me or whatever, I mean, if you can just do me a favor and put it in all caps, that makes it just easier for me to see. That's all. Just easier for me to see. If you guys can do it in all caps. I would appreciate it. The all cap thing actually works for me. So. The all cap thing works for me. You did the same with your volume and you had to Google out how to find your Mac inside. I don't know what it does. It's like when you refer, I, I you know what, because it, it constantly tells you upgrade, 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 and I don't always upgrade, you know, because I, and I don't, because I don't, you know, I don't know, and I did, and then I couldn't figure out what's wrong. Hi, Scotty. How are you feeling, Scotty? You're going to go see an exhibition of Eric, the villainous and friends. Oh, or you went to see it. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Nicole. That sounds fun, you guys. I have no plans for the weekend. I'm excited. Is that ridiculous? I have absolutely no plans for the weekend. I am going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself permission to do nothing. Isn't that, isn't that good? I gave myself permission to do nothing. Totally going to give myself permission to do absolutely nothing if I can. Is that ridiculous or what? But I would like to do nothing. If I can do nothing, I'll be so happy. I always have the intention to do nothing, but then, you know, the weekend, when you have kids, it's really, it's really, I'm just lying to myself because you know, when you have kids, you end up doing a whole bunch of stuff that you wish. <laughs> doing nothing is good. Oh, it's ridiculous. I'm not going to say that I won't do something, but at least I don't want to plan anything. That's probably better. That's probably what I really mean is I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to plan anything. I'm going to try to like, I'm going to try to veg out and not plan anything. I still am in the middle of doing my calamari. I'm doing my calamari. I got my calamari going on. I'm doing my calamari. I'm still doing that. And I still have like, I have like all kinds of stuff that I should do, but then I'm not doing it. Does that, is that anybody else besides me that has stuff that they should do, but that they're not doing? Oh my gosh, Lisa, the school friends loved the cupcakes that were baked at two o'clock in the morning or whatever my ridiculousness was. And the birthday was good. It was stressful for me, you guys. I don't know why. It was like, you know why I think it was stressful? Because I had in my head, I had just thought it was going to be the three of us because my middle daughter told me that she was working and, you know, she's got a life of her own. She goes to college and she works and she has friends and, you know, not, it's not always so cool in her world to hang out for a, for a little kid's birthday, right? And we're going to, we're going to have a birthday, a real birthday party or a big birthday party with, with her friends, like in a couple of weeks, in a couple of weeks we are. And so on a weekend, so, you know, Anyway, she ended up at the very last minute wanting to hang out, my older one, which was really nice, but it was like, 
and then she goes, oh, can I bring this person? Can I bring that person? And then the next thing you know, it became like this whole bigger event than we had just thought it was just going to be the three of us. And then it became like this much bigger event and it was fine. But let's just say, ladies, there's sometimes like when you're planning something and it, and it doesn't quite go the way you're thinking because somebody else has some other ideas. You kind of just want nothing, but it was all good. We had fun. We all we had fun. We ended up going to we ended up going to a '50s style diner because that's what the little one wanted to go to, and they had an arcade there where they had foosball and air hockey, like an old timey arcade like we would go to. They even had old games like Pac Man and um, Galaga and centipedes and that sort of thing. And you know because the kids are so into high tech stuff. It was really fun for them because it's, you know, it, obviously it's not really high tech. And so they had a good time. Everybody had, everybody ended up having a wonderful, wonderful time. And I ended up getting over being stressed out. I ended up letting it go, letting my stress go, and not being stressed out. I won't say that I did it with ease totally, but I, I won't say that I did it Maybe I did it with a little bit more ease than I thought, but, you know, it was just one of those things. But it was good. Thanks for asking, Lisa. It was really fun. It really was. The kids were laughing hysterically. You know, they thought it was great. This place, um, they have really, even though it's like this, I don't really eat red meat. Not, not because I have any sort of philosophical reasoning behind it. This doesn't sit well with me internally, you know, physically. And so I had kind of thought we would go somewhere else. See, it ended up being actually great because the place that we went to, because I don't go very often and I forget about it, had um, the place has some of the best fish that you'll ever have. And I had forgotten all about it, you know, because I don't, my head doesn't think that way and I don't go there very often. I ended up having the most amazing fish and it was awesome everybody else had burgers and I had fish and it was great we all had fun it was super fun yep and now we'll plan the birthday the real birthday with the friends see the hard thing is school barely started so the the bad thing about having a birthday so early on is that your friends aren't all really in school yet, and it's sort of like, so we've had birthday parties like in the past, like right when her birthday is, which is like basically the first week of school, and not had her for all of her friends come, so that's why we're going to wait. And she also wants this like water thing, like a, like a bouncy castle, but it's with water and you slide in it. Have you guys heard of those? Do they have those on the mainland? They're super popular here. But there's not a lot of them, and it's rented. So we have to, if she wants that, we have to rent it out. We have to pick a date when, the, um, when we'll be able to have it. So I'm going to let mine dry a little bit. I've done, done my painty circles, done my Q-tip circles, okay? And it needs to just dry. It needs to dry. Hi, Grace. So if you guys have your magic wand like I do, <laughs> your 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 man gun. Use it. You could probably cook a meal with this gun. Your neighbors have one of those slides, Mary Lou. Oh, aren't they fun? The kids really love them, but they don't have. They have like four of them here on island and. I called like a month ago to book it, and it's the ones are booked, so we'll get it. We'll just have to wait. Yeah, it's like a bouncy house, but it has water in it. It's like a water slide bouncy house thing. It has water. Fry an egg for you? I certainly could. You guys, I could certainly fry an egg with my 
digital heat gun that goes up to 1100 degrees. It's ridiculous. They're popular there in Rhode Island. Oh, they're so popular here, Mary Lou. It's like, it's like crazy. And they have this one that has two slides, and that's the one that she wants. So that's, it has two slides and water and. <laughs> Happy birthday, Fee. Is today your birthday? Happy birthday, Fiona. Oh, and happy birthday, Brenda. Happy birthday, lovelies. I'm so happy for you. Did you guys make a wish for your birthday? Okay, how many of you guys have gotten this far? How many of you have painted both sides of your paper and then done a design on one? Happy birthday, Brenda. Hi, Noni. Okay, so if you've gotten as far as I did, we've painted your outside and then you've folded it up and you've put your Whatever, you could put your napkin, you could paint it on the inside too, okay? You're almost with me. Well, I'll slow down a little bit. And mine probably needs to dry just a little bit more anyway. I'm going to have a sip of my tea. You're still drying. Mine needs to dry too, Gloria. I'm not going to, I'll wait for a few seconds. I'll wait for a minute or two. Ann fell, everyone, Ann fell and broke her wrist, okay? And she <laughs> Bridgeline, we don't, in England, I, you guys, Americans, a fanny is not the same in, in, in America as it is in England, okay? So when you say a fanny in Amer in English, or in, I mean not in English, in, Amer in the U.S. is you're behind. But a fanny in Britain is something else, is another part of your body. It's another lady part. <laughs> So when you say you have a purple fanny and you're from England, it's sort of, it's shocking. A fanny in England, in, in London in English is your, is your lady part. Well, it's kind of like an accordion book, Eva. <laughs> I know, Bridgeline, right? Yeah. Yeah, but Susan, in, in England, it's the other part. It's the other lady part. <laughs> I used to have a dear friend, and we're still friends, and she lives in England, but she lived in, in New York when I was living in New York. And remember when fanny packs were so popular, and I bought her one, and I said, <laughs> yeah, we had a bit, yes, we misunderstood. So... <laughs> <laughs> she was wondering she thought it was some kind of down under dye down under hair dye oh my <laughs> oh lord <laughs> well I had a friend and I bought her I was so proud so she was in the early 90s and so we were going on these like long hikes with our kids and I bought her a fanny pack. And I was like super excited. And I said, Oh, I bought you a fanny pack. And then and then she was she was mortified. She did not know what I was. She was like, You bought me a what? You bought me a what? And then it became like the whole it became it became a it became filled with laughter, you guys. <laughs> No, not you, Fiona, down under. Oh, Lord, you ladies. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, and see? <laughs> oh my god, the carpet doesn't match the drapes. You guys are so bad. <laughs> what is doing a calamari? Oh my god, Vicky, doing a calamari is... One day I was talking about, have you guys seen that, um, the Japanese lady um, who does, she has a organizing system. <laughs> Fiona, it's exactly, <laughs> Fiona says it's like in Australia, a fanny is your girly bits, okay? <laughs> so Anne's sitting here telling everybody that her fanny bits, bits are purple. <laughs> oh, because Anne fell. Anne fell. She fell and broke her wrist, and she has a bruised backside from falling and breaking her wrist yesterday. Okay, so you have that, Vicky. Uh, Vicky has that book. Okay, so one day I was talking about doing the KonMari method. I was talking about organizing my stash. Okay, do you guys all have the same problem? <laughs> Oh, Lord, you girls are so bad. <laughs> oh, so I was talking about doing the KonMari method, and Susan thought I was talking about calamari. And I was talking about it for the longest time, and she's like, what is calamari? And then everybody pipes in, squid, octopus, squid. She thought, she anyway, she thought I was talking about, when I, she thought I was talking about calamari. So that's why they make fun of me, because I'm still doing the calamari method. I have... I failed at that method. I mean, I'm trying. But the second step of the whole method, the first step is what? Your clothes in your closet. And the second, <laughs> a squid pro quo. quo. <laughs> yeah, Brenda. And the second part is getting away from all of your... <laughs> oh, and the second part is getting rid of all your papers and your books. And that's where I failed because I, you know me and my altered books. Getting rid of all my books and all my papers, I would be like crying. Make sure your paint's dry before you do the next part because you're going to be folding it, okay? It's Lisa's birthday too. Well, happy birthday, Lisa. Yes, Conmari, but Susan thought it was Calamari. The whole, I mean, I was talking about it for ages and then finally she pipes in, what is Calamari? And then it's ridiculous. And then I, I'm like, that's squid. And the silly thing is it didn't make sense at first. Somebody else pipes in. It's squid. So they, they laugh. Yes, what sparks joy? They stay. I know, right? But all of my trash sparks joy. All of my, all of my books and my painting papers, they spark joy. Happy birthday, Lisa. Happy birthday, you guys. You can keep it if it sparks joy, Noni, but the whole idea is only to keep like a couple of them. Which post, Fia? I haven't been on today, or I was on, or I haven't been on for a while. I was on earlier. What, what did you talk about? Oh, but you know, I live in a really tiny house. I have got to let more of it go, and I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So I've given myself, and I'm reorganizing, and... It used to be fine when our spare room was my craft room because I could just shut the door and it didn't matter how messy it was. But my daughter and her husband stayed with us for a little while. And so I took all my stuff out and now it's in my dining out. Well, now it's in my garage because we're doing some electrical work on our house. And so I haven't brought it all back in. Sarita says all of her things spark joy. I, You know what, Sarita... I have to agree, I, but you know, I, I have probably too much joy in my stuff. <laughs> I have too much joy. You know, there's parts of it, Samantha, that are where it's good. I mean, there's parts of it, like, I can go through my kitchen and I can let go of stuff, and I... <laughs> Brenda says she gave up her bra, her treadmill, and her bills. <laughs> Oh, did you write something about decluttering? Well, I'll have to look at it. You have too much joy too, Mary Lou? Oh, no. I. You know what? You know what? I, I've started giving a bunch of my stuff away. I've given away uh, mostly what I have that is just more than what I need are books. I have lots of books. 
<laughs> Lynn says she just can't talk to inanimate objects. You know, I think it all goes in hand in hand, like what you have room for and stuff. And for me right now, like I could let go of some more. I just haven't. Okay, if your pain is dry, we can go to the next part. Mine is almost dry. I think it is dry enough. Now, this is the part I want to tell you that, you know, it varies. If you want, say you want to put a gift card in here, I would measure the gift card. You can always cut off one end or, you know, make it fit your, your things. <laughs> Lisa says electric work talking a lot taking a long no you know why it is Lisa is because we need the whole house has to be redone and we have somebody doing it in their time not on our time and so oh I don't buy anything Vicki it's just what I already have Where's my, I just used my, it's, an, I just, it's my Ace Heart Dryer. I just used it. Okay, let me just show you what I did for mine. But you can do yours, if you wanted to make it fit a specific pocket size. Like say you wanted a, a gift card. You want to start with your gift card. You know what I mean? So start on one end with your gift card and, and fold it back and forth if you want a specific size. I'm just going to make this whole book work. So I'm just going to show you what I did. What I did was I, I folded it in half first. So if you don't, if you want your pockets or your folds to be a certain size, then use that as your template and start on one end. Okay, now I haven't glued, glued my pockets down yet. So I found the center of mine. Okay, then I'm going to take go from one side to the center. This is just if you want to find the center of the one you have. If, you, if it doesn't need to fit a specific size, okay? I found the center and I folded it in and then I found go to the outside and fold that one into the center as well. I have used my Ace Dryer. I'm not buying anything. You guys, the, I buy glue and paint. That is what I buy, glue and paint. I have enough used book pages to last a lifetime. Unless it's something really specific that I want. Like I do want one of those little tiny nozzles for glue. I haven't ordered any, but I will. I want that. Okay, so right now this is what it looks like. Okay, you have four folds. It's got four folds. The center fold. You know, it's got the center and the two ends. Okay. Now, what you want to do from there is you want to fold, take, pick one side, it doesn't matter which side, and fold that side into the fold that you've just done. All right, then you want to fold it back. This is where you want to start doing your accordion, okay? And you always want to uh, press out from the center so that you get it, so that it folds uh, evenly. From the center of whatever wherever your crease is okay so that so now I have that many on this side and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side fold it into the and I'm not going to use a bone folder and do mine hard and fast just because I'll show you why when we because the very one side of it you'll see just hang on just bear with me here Okay, so this is what it looks like now, right? Now, I'm not going to glue my pockets down yet. So, this, you can, it makes it much easier if you, if you, um, if you do it a little at a time, okay? So, this one is a valley, a mountain, a valley, a mountain. Now, you're going to get it all the way down to where you have two wedges left on the right side, and that one is going to fold over and become your flap. 
You see why I don't do a hard fold on those? That's if you wanted to close. Now you could make it close any way you want. You don't have to make it close this direction. This is just what I've done. Hi, Michelle. So this is what it looks like now, okay? So you folded it in half, right? And you creased it. You folded that half again to meet the center and the other side the same way. And then you folded those to meet Now you've pretty much probably gotten all your folds in good now. I mean, if you've done them a couple of times, so you don't have to fold it this way. You could pick a different way. You don't have to, you know, you just, just, just depends upon what you want, you know, how you want it to close, how you want it. If you want it to wrap around like this. You know, you can do this with scrapbooking paper. You don't, just because I used book pages doesn't mean you have to use book pages. Okay, so now that you've gotten your your parts folded the way you want it, okay, you can do it one more time. Start on one end and fold it accordion style, right? Or you can fold it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's up to you how you want to fold it. You know, you can you can fold it, you can you can have it wrapped around. It doesn't have to be you don't have to have it accordion like this, it could just fold in on itself. And it's up to you how you want to fold your piece. Okay. Now you want to pick one end, and I'm gonna make mine tie just because look at this one. This is the one that I did earlier. See, this one goes in and out, and in and out, and in and out, and in, and then this one wraps around it like that. So I've gone to the end and I've poked a hole in the center, and that's where I've put my ribbon. Carrie, feel better. Oh no, I hope you feel better. Night, Carrie. See you Tuesday. Victoria just got hit in the eye of the storm. Oh no. Hi Patricia. Okay, so pick a pick your side and poke a hole in the center up here. This is what I do before I uh I glue anything down. You could put a brad on it, you could put a rubber band on it if you don't want to do a uh a hole. Whatever you, whatever works for you, no right or wrong, okay? Mine has night carry. It's a category four now. Ugh. All right, everybody, send love and prayers to the Gulf. This is not good. Ugh. Okay, now this is the part that you you want to go ahead and like glue. The edges, you want to glue wherever there's a peak in a valley, wherever the folds are. And I just put the glue on one side. I don't put it on both sides. I usually put it on the shorter side. So then that way I know that I haven't, um, that I haven't gotten it up too far on the other, on the other side, on the, you know, higher up in the, and then just, Use your fingers and burnish it down. And then I just need to glue this in. And that's it. I need to, need to add my ribbon. And then we'll add our tags. Uh, thanks, Grace. You know, you guys, that is, I lived in that area most of my, 
most of my, um, until I've turned like 18, and I know how scary it is. Now you just need a piece of ribbon. Um, this On this one I used a piece of, uh, all of this is ribbon scraps, you guys. This is, and, uh, and you can tell I got paint on it too. This one is uh, just like a piece of sheer ribbon. So you could use fabric too, or you could use uh, embroidery thread. You could use whatever works for you. Whatever you want. Let's see what I have here that might work. This might be too thick. You don't want it to be too, too thick. Or I have some fibers, some yarn. Maybe this will work. I, st I have family in that area. I do. I have um, an aunt and some cousins and stuff. I, I spoke with my aunt earlier, and they were all preparing, you know, getting water and doing all the stuff that you do when it's time for all that. But hi, Laurel. This is kind of great for Christmas surprises. That's why I said you can do as many accordion folds as you want in yours. You don't have to just because I like went all out and did all these in mine. You can measure it and make it for your, um, if you have a gift card. You can put papers and sticky notes. Do you guys ever send flip books? Do any, does anybody send pen pal flip books? This works good for that too. Ugh. Night, Grace. See you Tuesday. Or if you ladies are around on Sunday, watch. Make sure you tune in and watch Carla. She's going to do her her football widow series. I just need to get it through my little tiny. I have the world's tiniest hole punch. My big hole punch is in the. Okay. So. I'm just going to tie my my little knot in my, my string. And then you have to measure it for tags. If you want to stick tags in it, you want to measure it, you know, have a template for it. You guys have got mine all... Let's see, how am I going to do this? This one goes like this, and like this, and like this. All right. So the, here's the little book itself. It has a little bit too many strings on it, but that's okay. I can always fix it. All right, now you just want to measure it for some tags. Football Widows is Anything Goes book. Ooh, well, make sure you guys get your Anything Goes book going on. So how I decided the size of my tags was I just took a piece of paper. Let's see, where did I, did I throw the paper away? You guys don't always throw them stuff away. Just a scrap piece to see what would fit inside and then just cut them accordingly. You know, just cut them accordingly to the size if you wanted a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. Right? So... I cut mine out of paper uh, you know, packaging, and then I covered them in paper. You could paint them. Usually I paint them, but these I didn't. And these still need ribbons. Like these don't have, I, I just haven't gone and dug through my stash for my ribbon. Hi, Debbie. So you guys make sure that you guys are uh, t tuned in if you want to do the Anything Goes book. This is kind of a fun way to package your tag, Sarita. You're right. This is like an accordion card. I don't know. And you guys can do as many accordions as you want. You don't have, just because I've done like my, you know, I just did it based on the size of the book pages that I had. You guys could do the same thing with a file folder. You could even do this. I mean, I made something similar to this with a shopping bag when I did my portfolio that I mailed to somebody. So, yeah, it's so fun, and it's easy, and it's fast, okay? So you got your, so, and you can use anything. Like, these are book pages, right, with my painting papers. I did my painting paper book pages. So then you want to just decide on your tags and how many you want in it. Like, it gives you quite a few pockets. 
I didn't really add anything to the end pocket because it folds over, but you can. You know, this one is, um, I haven't painted any of these yet or covered them in paper yet, but you get the idea, right? And you can, you can make any size tags. You don't have to, just because I've done my, like, big ones or whatever doesn't mean you do. This one I painted with a, with, with, um, So it folds much easier when you have the uh, the tags in there. But you get the general idea, yeah? Good night, Lynn. You know what? This is great for wallpaper. If you guys have wallpaper samples, this is a great little book to make with wallpaper. You could even sew it. You don't have to glue it if you wanted to sew your your the sides or whatever you could do that too yours is complete isn't there something satisfying about completing a project I think so okay so these are my painting papers that I you know you guys know how much I love painting papers so I was just gonna glue my painting papers the painting papers that I made for you know that we've been making during the week I was gonna glue my painting papers on top or you could paint your your tags, or you could even do them with brown paper. You can make your tags with brown paper. You don't have to make them packaging like I did, right? If you wanted to send somebody a selection of tags, this is a fun way to send them some tags or send them some ephemera that's small. Re remembering that you can make it the pockets any size you want. But let's make a fun little paperclip embellishment to go on it, all right? So, this is the one I made for this one right here. So this is, I glued my painting paper that I had made. You know, I made a whole sheet of it somewhere around here. And I cut it with my hole punch, with my one and a quarter inch hole punch. And I cut packaging and made the paper clip embellishment. So let's make a couple of these so you guys have some embellishments to go with it. Bye, Carla. See you on, maybe we'll see you on, um, which Carla are we saying bye to? Are we saying goodbye to Ash? Who are we saying goodbye to? <laughs> yeah, you guys go over to Crafting Mamas and put it, um, yeah, you could use Crop It All to set rivets. So, anyway. Let's make some paper clip embellishments. So I finally went and got myself some small paper clips. I finally went and bought myself some small ones. I was out of them. I only have these big gigundo ones. So cut yourself some circles. And I'm using one and a quarter inch circle punch, but you could use any size you want. Okay. And I save my food boxes to make, and I make a bunch of blanks so that I can use them for anything that I want. Okay. Oh, you're still here. All right, you girls, get me going. Good night, Anne. Anne, we're sending you so much love. We're sending you love, love, love. Anne, we're sending you so much love. We want you to feel better. Okay, we really, really do. Okay, so cut your circles. Cut two, you guys. Two circles per. And you can use a smaller circle punch. I just, I don't have one in front of me. And I'm using a Stampin' Up. It's a Stampin' Up. Uh, circle punch it's an old one I've had it for a really long time okay so that is what I'm using I'm using the Stampin' Up circle punch okay good night Anne I want you to feel better we're sending you love okay so on your circle go to the very top of it and go down about an eighth of an inch and use your exacto knife and make a notch just straight across. This is where the paper clip's gonna go in. If you want to do a hidden paper clip, if you want don't want to do a hidden paper clip, then don't do this. Okay, so I'm gonna put the shorter side on the inside. I'm gonna through the notch, but put it on the inside of the packaging. So 
So this the shorter part of the paper clip is on the inside. Can you see it? The crocodile eats rivets. I don't have a crocodile, so I can't even comment. Now this is the one thing that you do need wet glue for. Okay, I'm just using Elmer's glue. You can use any kind of glue you want, but you do need wet glue for this part. So then put a nice amount of glue on the inside where your smaller paper clip is, the smaller part of your paper clip. Okay, like this. Take the other part of your paper clip and sandwich it. So you're going to sandwich it and then you're going to need to anchor it together and you want to use some other paper clips to just hold it together while it dries. Okay, so you're going to anchor it together while it dries. Okay. Now I make these ahead of time, you guys. I have a whole box of them. And I just make them. I make them with my one and a quarter inch circle patch. And I use it as a blank. Because if you wanted to like put anything else, say you found like some really cute images, they don't have to be cut in the shape of a circle. You can glue them on top. I also have a half an inch one and I have a one inch one. So depending upon how hefty you want it to be. Oh, it's 4.20 in the morning in South Africa. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Scotty, I'm going to and we're sending your mom love. I know, I, I think everything will be fine. Okay, you're okay so far, Susan? Oh, that's good. All right, so what I did for this one, as you guys know, my 10 circle, my 10 circle flowers, right? My, my 10 circle, this one only has eight. So I went ahead and I did that and I poked it through my, I went ahead and I, I cut my painty papers with my circle punch and scrunched them. And you know, a lot of stuff has been going. How, how have you guys fared since the eclipse is over? Is everybody better or are they worse? I've had people write me notes saying, I'm worse now. And I'm like, oh, no. So I'm going to let this one dry. I say pity papers. I said, you know, I said painty paper. I don't know. Did I say pity papers? I meant painty papers. But it could be pity pat pat papers. <clears throat> are you guys all going to go to the Shannon Green? Some of you, you live in Arkansas, don't you? Scotty, are you going to go see Shannon Green? If I lived close enough to go see Shannon Green, I would be there. Mm -hmm. I love Shannon Green. I would, even if I didn't need to learn how to make something, I go, I would go learn how to make something just to hang out with Shannon Green. Okay, so after you've put, let your clip dry a little bit, then you can put on whatever you want. Now what I'm going to put on to this one, see, so now this is what it looks like. There's the back and this is the front of the blank. I'm gluing on a flower that I made. I made a, and actually I glued it on to something else. You, I could glue this on to its own paper clip. Maybe that's what I'll do instead. Um... I make these as blanks and I keep them in my stash. I love Shannon Green. Oh, Lisa, Google her. Google Shannon, I mean, 
Go to YouTube and put in Shannon Green. She's a crafter. She is a fun crafter. She is a lot of fun. She's also a fellow Texan. And she lives in Arkansas. And she's doing some sort of a class. I think. I don't know. Is it soon, Scotty? And so... So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to anchor my my flower down. And this is going to be one of my paper clip embellishments for, for this little accordion book. But this is, I make these sort of, um, make them even smaller depending on whatever size your circle punch is. But you can cut cool magazine bits out and do it this way too. Mid mid September she's doing it. I drink apple cider vinegar. Do you drink apple cider vinegar? I have I make myself apple cider vinegar tea every day. With that Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Ooh, it's really good. It works on your it works good on your digestion. I don't take it as a pill, I just drink it. Make it and make a, like a cup of tea, like hot water. Put a little bit of honey in it and put apple cider vinegar. Especially if you get the one that has the, the Bragg's one has the live enzymes in it. It's really good. So as soon as this dries, I'm going to put it in my accordion, my little accordion file, my little accordion, accordion book. You use apple cider vinegar to, to help you fall asleep? Is that what you're saying, Luana? <clears throat> I take it for digestion. I mean, I, I always have. Scotty says she drinks pickle juice. Ooh, good. Apple cider vinegar, though, that especially that Bragg's one, it has a lot more health benefits than you realize. But if you Google it, it'll tell you all kinds of them. My parents were very into, like, my, both my parents were very, um, you know, like sort of health fanatic types. It works for a lot of things, but also sleep. I didn't know it worked for sleep, but apple cider vinegar works a lot. Yeah, I don't sleep a lot either. Yes, Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So how many of you guys made the little accordion book? You can totally make it as a card. I mean, I think it would make a, I think it would make a really cute little pen pal, um, a little pen pal gift. And if you, and if you go all out and add all kinds of fibers to your tags that you put in there, you'll have like the fibers and cool stuff sticking out of the top of it too. Yeah, I think it does have 21 amino acids in it, but I don't know. Carla, don't say yuck until you try it. It actually works. This is apple cider vinegar, you guys. Not just plain vinegar. It's apple cider vinegar. It's actually really good. Try it before you say yuck. Try it. Put a little bit of honey in it, a little apple cider vinegar, hot water. You drink it like a tea. You made it, Samantha. Awesome. You're going to after the stream. It's actually sort of addictive, but it's like, it's a little bit like, um, Carla's accordion card that I made like a million of. It's exactly like that. Oh, you know what I wanted to tell you? It does taste good with honey. You can't even really taste that it's vinegary. Do you guys, they have on sale on, where, who was it that was asking about seam binding? One of you guys was asking about seam binding, yes? If you go and you buy Hug Snug Seam Binding on Amazon, I mean not on Amazon, on eBay, right now I bought some and it's normally like $9.50 for a whole hundred yards of it. I got it for $7. There's one seller on eBay and I don't know the name of her, but if you go on there and it says make me an offer, I made her an offer of $7 and she accepted the $7. So it's $7 for a hundred yards of it. And I, I think the shipping was $2. So 
So I'm just letting you know. Well, while we're waiting for my other paper clips to dry, I want to show you, the, now that Dawn's here, I want to show you the happy mail that she sent me that made me cry. Okay? Dawn sent me happy mail, and I was, I was not expecting anything. I was not expecting anything, and I was like, what did I order? And Dawn sent me this in the mail, and she sent me all this really cool Christmas stuff, you guys, and it made me cry. And it made me cry. Like, look at this. Look how beautiful her. I'm going to use this, I think, for my December daily. I was going to make one, but instead, you guys, and then wait. I cried. And so I'm keeping all of this, because you know me, Dawn. I've got to use all of it in my journaling. And I loved, I loved how you scalloped the tissue paper. It was awesome. And look, you guys, she sent me that Santa Claus stamp. I'm so excited. I am. I was so excited. So, so, so excited. Hi, Marcy. So I was so excited. So Dawn sent me, look, you guys, I got Christmas. And look, she made me the most beautiful Christmas card. Is this not beautiful or what? I love it. You guys, I love this card. It's so beautiful. And I love all the embellishments and stuff you did on it. I love it, Dawn. I'm going to put it in my... I think I'm going to use your journal that you made me for my December daily. And she sent me this beautiful Santa Claus stamp. And then she made me this journal. And you guys, look how cute it is. It is so cute. And it has seam binding. This is that hug snug seam binding. But just look how beautiful it is. Look. Dawn, I really love this. Thank you so much. So if you, anybody does a December daily... This is like a this is a great December daily. It's like a traveler's notebook style journal. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all the paper and all the cool little Christmas tags she sent me. And like it has like snowflake stamps. You know, right? And look, she put hearts inside of it. I love it. Dawn, thank you so much. It made me cry. It made me cry. It has beautiful embellishments, and I love this stamp. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous Christmas stamp. Gorgeous Christmas ephemera. Like, look, and this is like, isn't this a sweet stamp, too? Look at the little heart with the holly. Isn't that sweet? You guys, I was so, it came on the perfect day. I've had such a really not good day that day, and then, isn't it work out like that? Like, when your day is, like, not great? Look, it has this, isn't this one cute with the intricate washi tape on the other side? The reindeer, the little Santa card. No, right? And look at the back. Look at the snowman. Isn't he so cute? So cute. And look, she made me a Christmas ornament. And I love it. And then it's got extra paper for journaling back here. So I'm going to definitely, I think I'm going to use this for my December daily. I may make a December daily anyway just to make one, but I'm going to definitely, definitely use this for my December daily. Dawn, thank you so much. And then she sent me, like, all this extra stuff, just all this, like, cool napkins and, and stuff like that. You know, I love Christmas stuff. I loved it. And it just made me cry. Vaughn, thank you. It was like came out of the blue and I was so appreciative and I don't know. It was awesome. And the stamp I love. I can't wait to use it. I love it. I love it so much. I was so I was so moved. And of course I had it I got it in the car. You guys have been trying you know, trying to do this this uh, early morning, pick up the kid, get back in the traffic thing. It's not been the easiest. It has actually been ridiculous. So, and I'm so grateful. Thank you, Dawn, for my December daily and my, or my little journal and my stamp. I love him. He's so beautiful. He's got such a beautiful face, doesn't he? Don't you love him? Isn't he awesome? Listen, this is yesterday. She got something. <laughs> Vicky says she'll trade her horse. <laughs> she'll trade her horse. Um... Lucida said she got some happy mail yesterday from the Junk Journal Fairy, and it was a card with some art things. What a pleasant surprise. Oh, Alta, that's so sweet. Wasn't that a nice gift? I was so surprised. I was so surprised. I love his glasses, too. It's awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. And then 
It was, it just took me off, it was so, it took me off guard. I, and I was so surprised and I'm so appreciative. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I also got some really cool happy mail from Kathy. She sent me some napkins and she sent me some other cool little bits and pieces. I love his glasses too. So Kathy sent me some napkins. I want you guys to see them. They're really cool napkins. Now I have like a lot of cool stuff to use and make my use for my journals. These are really beautiful little napkins. I love these. Aren't these beautiful? Sent me some napkins. I'm liking the flowers and the puppies. Aren't these cute? The puppies. Some more flowers. And more flowers and butterflies. And I like these with the writing on them. Maison Blanc. They have French words. Ooh, awesome. And birds. And the Eiffel Tower. These are beautiful. So thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. These are so beautiful. I love them. You guys know me and my flowers. And then she sent me some really cool little bits and pieces. Look at her little envelope. Remember when we made envelopes? Look at hers. Isn't it cute? She made it out of a book page. She put a paper napkin decoupage on it. He is an awesome Santa. I love him. And look, she gave me a bunch of cool little ephemera in here, which is really neat. Maybe not. Maybe on Tuesday we'll make ephemera. Does anybody want to make ephemera on Tuesday? Wasn't it sweet? You sent Asha a care package too, and she got the same Santa. Asha, are we Santa twins? Like, look, isn't this great? She sent me some, sent me some sweet little bits and pieces of ephemera in here. Aren't these feathers really beautiful? They're made out of book pages, and it looks like her version of serendipity paper. Aren't they beautiful? We you know, right? Kathy, awesome, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. I don't even know if Kathy, Kathy are you here today? We're Santa twins. Aww. So, if you guys want to make ephemera on Tuesday, maybe we'll make ephemera on Tuesday. Um, I haven't forgotten about our Halloween or zombie journals, but we need to gather some. Kathy, thank you. I was so I was so touched. I love everything that you sent me. Love it all. You sent me the coolest little bits and pieces, and I love your envelope. I love all the stuff that you made me. I love it. Look, it has book pages on the back. So this is Kathy's serendipity paper. I love it when you guys, I love this sort of thing. So yes to making ephemera? Okay, cool. So I will make a list of stuff that we need to bring. Bring your painty papers. Bring a hole punch. Some paper clips. Bring uh, your junk mail. I love these. Yours are beautiful. I don't have this die. This is just beautiful. Love it. Um, you can use watercolor paper. I think it's awesome. So for those of you that are new to paper crafting, ephemera is any sort of little bit and piece so ephemera is meant like a memory of something that, that, that is not permanent, okay? So it's a memory of things that are not permanent. So like a ticket stub or, um, you know, just little like bits and pieces of things, like, like these little flowers or um, things that are not permanent. So, and things that will bring you memories or spark memories or things like that. So like... For, and if you want to like, so now that we made these like little tiny accordion files, right, you could put all kinds of ephemera tags or ephemera in there, right? You could put all kinds of ephemera in there. You could put tags or paperclip embellishments or um, any sort of thing that you wanted to put in your little, in your little accordion file you could put in. Kathy, thank you for my, my lovely package. And I was so touched. You guys, I've been having... Just like you guys, I've been going through my own ridiculousness, and it has it catches up to you sometimes, you know? It really does. 
So bring some, you can also use magazines to make ephemera. You can use lids, I mean, uh, labels from your, from food labels and packaging. You bring stuff that you would like. Kathy, I really love it. Thank you so much. I really, really, really do. Um, stamps, like postage stamps, those make great bits and pieces. You can use, um, Lisa, I think the stamp, the Santa Claus stamp came from Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to ask Dawn. But Dawn had, she did a, a video doing Christmas cards, and, and it was her stamp and it, of her Santa, and I loved it a lot. And so I made the comment that I liked it. So you can bring whatever you want to the table to make your ephemera. So... <laughs> I would like to borrow your horse for a ride to Whataburger because I haven't been to Whataburger in years. Oh my goodness. Whataburger's awesome. How are you, Laurel? So, and you can bring your lace pieces. Um, I don't have one of my journals in front of me, but I'll try to get one out so you guys can see. So I like to make, you guys know I like trashy stuff, but you can, anything that I show you, you can use scrapbooking paper. You can use um, anything. Okay, you can use scrapbooking paper. You can use watercolor paper. You could use um, any type of paper. Just because I like to use book pages doesn't mean you have to use book pages. Okay? So you could use any sort of thing to make your ephemera. Okay, you can use stamps. So for instance, like this flower stamp, I could stamp it on something and then I could cut it out and I could glue it onto some extra paper and make a piece of ephemera from that. It's just any sort of embellishment that is like, you know, that it's not a permanent style thing, you know, so and bring bring your bits and pieces. If you've saved clothing tags, you can bring those. You know, the ones that come off of clothes that you buy. We can repaint those. Um, washi tape you can use to make your ephemera. I mean, there's like no, there's no right or wrong to it. Okay, so you can, you can use whatever you want. Okay. Dawn says, yes, her, the Santa came from Hobby Lobby. So now you guys know. These are so fast and simple to make. I'm going to tell you, you'll be making, and make them any size. If you guys have an, a big file folder, you could you could make it with a file folder. Good night, Mary Lou. You could make it with a anything. I mean, I just use book pages because I was going to do an altered, make an altered book with you guys, which we can always do in the future because I have a bunch of them going on. But I have these pages, and I said, you know what? Let me just make something with the pages that I've torn out. You can, you can make one of these accordions and put paper dolls in it. Wouldn't that be cute if you made like little paper dolls to go in it? No Hobby Lobby in Canada. There's no lo Hobby Lobby here either. So if that makes you feel better, if there's no Hobby Lobby in Hawaii. There's nothing. There's only one craft store, and it's a Ben Franklin craft store, and it does not have, it, it, it's a tiny space, and it doesn't have all the other stuff that you guys have. So, so maybe we'll make some ephemera on Tuesday. So if you guys are, are making any sort of a journal, or you're making cards, or flip books, or um, that sort of thing, We'll make some ephemera to come with it. So I'll make you a list of stuff that you want. You know, mine's going to be made from trash. So I'm going to use some punches and punch some things out of book pages. Bring your You can bring your mixed language book pages. You can bring words or phrases you might want to add to your words or phrases that you might want to add to your ephemera. Paper clips, um, scrapbooking scraps, like the scraps of your paper, if you've had it, if you used them and you have just little bits and pieces that aren't good for a layout or anything, bring that too, okay? 
So we'll, we'll make some ephemera. You guys, there's no right or wrong in ephemera. It's all in what you like. Don, I think Hobby Lobby does have some stuff online, but it's not like you won't get what's in the store. You made a magazine journal, Lucinda, is that what you're talking about? They're really fun to make too. <laughs> Dawn says she doesn't need any more shopping outlets. I totally get it. Yeah, you know, cut out your words and you can also, you know, look little tiny words. It's thundering outside, Susan. Uh okay, ladies. Who's ready for a little woo-woo? Anybody want to have a little breathe in, breathe out stress relief before we say goodnight? I'm sending you guys love. I remember those storm days in Texas, and it's not fun. It is not fun. It can, it can definitely be nerve-wracking. Okay, so... Let's do some letting go of the week. How about that? Harvey needs some woo woo? Okay. So, now just always remember whenever we're doing this, for those of you that don't want to participate, you need to have conscious consent. So, conscious consent just means you say yes to yourself, you don't have to say it. You don't say, you just say yes to yourself and you be included. If you don't want, if you don't want to, Sally, you're pa chatting and painting the spiders in your journal. Good for you. If you don't, no, Vicki, we're just going to, we're just going to do a little centering. We're just going to do a little bit of centering. You guys can chat up your chat up. You don't have to participate. If you don't want to participate in the energy work you just say no and, and it won't it won't come to you okay that's just how it works I know hugs to you Texas ladies because we love you and we want you guys to be okay I want you to be okay this week you guys I thought was probably one of the more stressful weeks for me did anybody have a stressful week or was it just me I was like it just seemed like I was really sort of more on edge than I normally am and things and things just affected me more like I took it much more personally than I normally do I felt very thanks Nani I love you bet I I just now it wasn't just me I'm telling you I felt like I was like sensitive queen or something this week was like weird right the energy and I was getting I can't tell you the, the amount of emails that I got from people and clients and things that I had that were like saying I'm feeling really vulnerable I'm feeling really raw I'm feeling really sensitive and so <laughs> Wanda said she had to have a hedgehog lift her up I get it And Brenda says, if I look up stress in the dictionary, I'll see your picture. Okay, so it was a very weird week. Everything was on my nerves too, Laurel. It was very, you know what? I stayed home. I was invited to things and I just tuned in and I heard stay home. So I stayed home when I, and I had a really, I had a very weird, very weird odd week. Amberly says she was irritable. Oh, I'm sorry. I had some, I had some our car, yeah, you're over at Fiona, okay, so let's, let's all, we're going to start our weekend, and we're going to let go of whatever didn't work for us for the week, and we're going to start our weekend, okay, and for those of you that are already in the middle of your weekend, 
it'll just enhance your weekend a little more. Now just remember, it's just conscious consent. If you want to be included, you say yes. And if you don't, you say no. And and it won't, you won't receive the energy. Okay. So I know it's been stressful for the kids too. Anyway. So I'm over it too. I totally agree. I'm over it. All right, girls, so here we go. Make sure your feet are flat, flat, flat on the floor, feeling the earth underneath you. And take your shoes off. If you have your shoes on, it's always good to be able to feel the floor underneath your feet, okay? It works, it just helps you to feel more grounded where you are. And if you can't take your shoes off, that's okay too. You know, there's no right or wrong. It all works no matter what. Okay, my lovelies, image yourself in a large column of light. You are in a big tube of light, and, and it's all around your body. All around your body. And if you reach your arms out, you can't even touch the end of it all the way around in a big, big, big tube. And when you look up, you can't see the end, and when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your tube of light specific to you. It belongs to you. Feel your tube of light, your big column of light, enter deep, deep, deep into the ground. Allow your column of light, your big tube of light, to grow tree roots. Allow those tree roots to find their way as deep and as wide as they would like to go. Let's ask the Earth, our beloved Mother Earth, to rain and shower her blessings upon us. I always love to envision her beautiful energy as gold. But you can see, feel, think, or know her energy any way that suits you. There is no right or no wrong. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rise up through your column of light, through your tree roots. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rise up through your tree roots. Feeling your whole column of light, feel it rising up through your feet, spreading ankles, calves, knees, upper thighs, hips. Feel it rising up through the base of your spine and spreading in your column of light, in your lower abdomen, spreading in your solar plexus and spreading. Feel it rising up to your heart and spreading. Feel it rising up through your throat and spreading. Feel it rising, filling your face, the back of your neck and your head. Feel it running down your spine. Feel it in your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists and out every finger. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy fountaining out the top of your head. Feel it fountaining out the top of your head. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy fountaining out the top of your head as high as you easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably can imagine. Breathe in this beautiful gold earth energy. And breathe in the gold earth energy. and breathe in the gold earth energy. Can you hear better? 
feel this beautiful connection to the earth. Feel this gold earth energy surrounding your whole body, flowing through your body and fountaining out the top of your head. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel your connection to the earth. Now give your body personality permission to call on the highest frequency of heavenly energy that you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably accommodate in your body personality right now. Feel this beautiful cosmic, heavenly, angelic energy pouring in the top of your head. I picture this energy as beautiful diamond light. If you can see, feel, think, or know this beautiful, heavenly, angelic energy any way that suits you. Breathe in this beautiful, heavenly, angelic energy. Breathe it in. Feel it filling your head and spreading. Feel it filling your throat and spreading. Feel it filling your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel it in every vertebra of your spine. Feel it filling your chest and your heart area. Feel it filling your solar plexus or your navel area. Feel it filling your lower abdomen. Feel it pulling down in the base of your spine. And feel it running out the base of your spine and out your upper, out your legs, out the bottom of your feet, deep in your column of light. Ready? Breathe in this beautiful diamond light energy. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. and feel your connection to heaven and earth. And I want you to focus on your heart. And I want you to open your window in your heart. And I want you to give your body personality permission to let go of anything that's not working for you. Just give over anything that's not working to you, working for you, to the divine. Just give it over, open the door in your heart, and allow whatever isn't working for you to just leave your body personality ready. Breathe in divine heavenly energy and let go of anything else. Breathe in divine heavenly light and let go of anything else. Breathe in divine heavenly energy and let go of anything else. And one more time, keep your window open, ready, breathe divine heavenly love and light into your body and let go of whatever isn't working for you. And one more time, breathe it in. And breathe it in. Ta 
Tell me what you girls feel, see, think, or know. Tell me what you girls feel, see, think, or know. Feel calm. Very nice. Night, Noni. Good job, Ash. Night, Edna. Stay safe, Noni. My emotional release, good, Brenda. That's awesome. Night, Samantha. One more time, ladies. Breathe yourself. Breathe all love, light. Diamond light, angelic light, love, peace, serenity. Breathe that into you. Open your window and let go of anything else. Night, Vicky. Oh, I'm so glad, Vicky. Vicky, I hope your horse is doing good. Night, Sarita. I hope you feel good. Good night, you ladies. I love you, girls. See you Tuesday, okay? Maybe Sunday if I get the if I feel like it. Yeah, love and safety to all you girls in Texas. We want you guys to all be safe. Night, Renee. Night, Anne. Oh, good, Sandy. I'm glad. You guys have a great weekend. Good night, Kathy. You girls stay safe. Thank you for my beautiful package, Kathy. Yes, and don't forget, Brenda does her show on Monday nights. Don't forget Brenda's show on Monday nights. Go over and join our Facebook group if you ladies don't already belong, Crafting Mamas. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this evening. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesday. All right, lovelies. Love you.